Hello, fourth graders. We're going to talk about the external and internal structures of plants and animals. And we're going to focus on crayfish. So, these are the crayfish's external structures. They're all right there. They're labeled. And we have lines that we could label them on. You will be filling this out on the seesaw activity that is attached to this video. So the tiny antennae, they look like antenna, they're smaller. Well, what's their function? That's the cephalothorax, the abdomen, the telson, the uropod, swimmerettes, walking legs, carapace, pincer, antenna, so we have antennule and antenna, eye, and the maxilliped. So here we go, the cephalothorax. The crayfish's body is divided into two sections. The first section is the cephalothorax. The cephalothorax, if you can see, is the fused head and hard shell, the carapace of the crayfish. Basically, it has the head and right in here, the internal organs right in there. Underneath this are tiny feather-like gills for this creature because this creature breathes underwater and when you breathe underwater you need gills. So think about how does this part help the crayfish to survive, grow, and or reproduce. The uropod we see right there. It is part of the tail section. It's one of those side fins and it's a pair of flat appendages on the last abdom abdominal sec segment of a crayfish that is used to help with swimming. Oftentimes we'll see the crayfish curl that tail underneath to get away quick. And it's not a forward movement, it's a backward movement. How does this help the crayfish survive, grow, and or reproduce? The carapace. It's this section right here. This is the section where if you're going to pick up a crayfish, pick it up by that because then it can't reach back and pinch you. All right. Thick, hard case or shell that covers the body, especially its back. So this is a good protection piece. How do you think this part helps the crayfish survive, grow, and or reproduce? The maxilliped. We see it's that tiny part right up there. It's like an extra little arm by the mouth. It's a specialized feeding appendages located behind the jaws on the heads of the crayfish, holding the food and providing a sense of taste and touch. Helps them keep that food up by their mouth so they can chew it and get it in their mouth. But it also does that job of feeling, touching it, and tasting it so they know what they're eating. So how does this help the crayfish survive, grow, and or reproduce? The antennules, tinier on the front, Small antenna that provide a sense of balance, touch, and taste to the crayfish. So how does this structure help the crayfish survive, grow, and or reproduce? Swimmerettes. If you flip your crayfish over and you look, you'll see these. A lot of times they don't hang down like this. They're tight to that tail section, but they have a special job. It's an abdominal appendage on the crayfish that is adapted for swimming. But with the females, they carry the eggs. And it looks like a little raspberry or a blackberry. If you have a female crayfish and they've laid their eggs, the eggs actually hold on. And then when the babies hatch out, they hold on to those tiny little swimmerettes. And there's a slight difference between male and female swimmerettes. So how do you think this helps the crayfish survive, grow, and or reproduce. The pincer. That's the piece that you're always scared of if you ever go get crayfish. It's the one that pinches you. So how does this help the crayfish survive, grow, and or reproduce? Well, it's the front claw of the crayfish used for grasping objects. It also begins to kind of tear things apart with it. The eye. Right there. They have two of them. How does it help the crayfish? Well, 
It's a structure that allows the crayfish to see. And they have compound eyes, which are very much like insects. So they see lots of images with those. The abdomen, it's that tail section. If you ever had and went to a crawdad boil, that's the part that you would eat most of the time, has the most meat in it, but it's the second part. So we've got that cephalothorax and then the abdomen. They have two body parts. How does this help them? Well, it's the elongated portion of the body of the crayfish located behind the thorax. It is divided into movable sections. You can see each of those pieces so I can curl it up and bring it under and help it to swim. Walking legs, eight walking legs, four pair. How do you think this helps the crayfish? These are moved for move, or these are used for the crayfish's movement. Antenna. So we have antennules, the shorter ones. The longer ones are the antenna. How does this help them? These are small sensory organs that provide a sense of touch and taste to the crayfish. So they do different jobs. The antennules are shorter, hearing and feeling touch and taste, antenna. The telson. Now the small ones off to the side of the uropods, the big one off the end, that's the telson. How does this help the crayfish survive, grow, and reproduce? It's the last segment of the crayfish that is used for swimming. So now what you will do is you will go to the blank copy of the crayfish and you can drag and drop the correct labels for the crayfish body parts and then submit it. All right.